Woods. CEO Mr. Bob Castellini has joined us in the booth and Bob I imagine you have to be so proud not just of the Cincinnati Reds and everybody in the Reds organization that worked so hard to make this happen but as a native Cincinnatian for the entire city for two years in a row now congratulations yeah, thanks Tom yeah we are very proud and, and our staff did just a magnificent job so many people have said to me today why can't we keep have this every year and the reason is that every major league city needs this. It's a terrific bonding experience for the community, and uh, uh, the commissioner has decided that uh, every two years they're, they're going to go to a different city. Uh, it, it's been spectacular. There's no question about it. Got to ask you, if there's one person, and I'm not throwing you on the spot here, one person. Oh, you never do, one, Tom. No, I never would do that. <laughs> or, or one conversation that you have had during the civil rights weekend last year or this year yeah. one conversation that you've had that has stood out more than any other have you had that yeah well I'll, I'll give you a comical one uh, you just had Ernie Banks up here and, and uh, I was sitting down there on the field with him and he pointed to, to his jersey and he said we're gonna whoop on you guys and, <laughs> and I said Ernie you better tell Lou to get going <laughs> Bob what do you hope to be the lasting effect of the, the two years you've had the civil rights game here in Cincinnati? Well, um, one of the things that is ongoing and has been happening even before we had uh, the civil rights games was this dedication to, to uh, kids baseball. And Joe Morgan said something. Here's what I would tell you, Tom, in a panel discussion yesterday. The most memorable thing that I've heard in, in the two years and Joe's absolutely right. He said look he said Major League Baseball has built all of these fancy academies down in the Dominican and elsewhere and uh, for the last 15 years uh, participation on the part of kids especially inner city kids has has just deteriorated and why haven't we done this in the United States and in fact that's what's happening. We have a big academy in Compton uh, California where we're just finishing one uh, in Houston, and and now Major League Baseball is going to going to partner up with our Reds Community Fund and build a, uh, build a uh, an academy here. Really? Yeah, I mean that's it hasn't been uh, it hasn't been signed on the dotted line yet, but. Oh. Mm. Almost at him. That's exciting news. Yeah. Yeah, very exciting news. And, and, and it's, it, it is a good point that Joe has made. And he he didn't just talk about he didn't just talk about the African-American community. He said, look, this is for everybody. And and uh, baseball has has lost some popularity to things like soccer and lacrosse and and certainly to basketball. And and uh, we've got a job to do here in the United States. Well, the crowd applauding because the Reds have made the decision, and, and really every team in baseball makes this decision pretty regularly that when you have a base open, you're not going to pitch to Albert Pools. One or at second, two outs in the inning in his 2 2 game. I met a woman tonight on the elevator. Walks in with her two sons, and she says, I, I know you from somewhere. And I said, Well, you know, we introduce our, ourselves uh, to one another. And she said, uh, I'm so happy to be here tonight. She said, my son is part of the RBI program. Uh -huh. yeah. And I said, well, how's he doing? Yeah. She said, well, you know, it's been three years now. And she said, it has been an unbelievable thing in his life. Not just playing baseball. I mean, yeah. we know the meaning of playing baseball. And everybody plays baseball if you're lucky enough to do it and have fun. Yeah. But the relationships that have been built inside of that RBI program and I know that's something that you with the Reds and everybody in baseball should be proud of. Yeah. Yeah. But it goes more than uh, it goes beyond just uh, creating baseball players and fans. It, it, it keeps the kids uh, busy in the summer and, and off the streets and it's it gives them a lot of them uh, their first uh, uh, grasp of, uh, of, uh, of uh, self-confidence and it's it's just been a marvelous program around the country and and our community fund with Charlie Frank has just done a great job. All right, Bob, what do you think of the team so far this year? I think the team uh, is is starting to uh, show that we do have a great starting rotation. And, uh, you know, if this, this continues, we're, we're, we're going to just continue to do well.
How about Mike Leake? You like him? Well, here's a fellow who uh, a year ago was beating Southern Cal and UCLA, and three <laughs> three weeks ago he beat the Dodgers. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty good, isn't it, fellas? Bob, great to see you. Thanks.